Hi, welcome to Bulls RC. Uh, I'm going to attempt, notice those words attempt, to make a servo winch. Uh, I'm going to use a cheap one, which is the one that came on my FTX, turn it around, FTX uh, when it was new. It's waterproof winch. Uh, this is just to see how it goes because I've not made one before. <coughs> I've not made one before. Um, not a few videos on YouTube, of course, just to see how it's done. So I thought I'd give it a bash. Uh, this is a, a bit of a, a shadow uh, servo. Don't know what that means. Just fit it into tight spaces, I suppose. Uh, I've got a metal geared one which is waterproof but that's going on the scalp back so I'll give this one a bash and see how we go with this you will need a few things you will need some glue and you will also need which some of these little things here and basically what that is is what dressmakers use to uh, wind cotton onto and they put it in the bottom of the sewing machine and that's how they sew stuff together. You can get these, you know, I don't know, I'm in the UK, so a dressmaking shop or a fabric shop or something like that will be able to sort you out. I've got these from my mum because that's what she used to do. And she had hundreds of them. So I've now got 14 of them. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, you're also going to need, excuse me. You're also going to need bit. an electric drill. And a drill bit. To uh, go into the servo, take it all apart, and so there's one bit you need to glue in there, and you're going to need to drill out the inside of the servo uh, hole in there. So give me a second, and okay, I'll go into the doing is taking the servo apart. Fast forward time. Okay, so you pop your servo off. Just like that. Some gears come out with it, some don't. These are all plastic gears, as you can see. Okay, so put that bit to the side. And we need this one here. It just pops off. Okay. And that bit there is the bit that he's gluing. And that bit in there. Okay, see where that slot is. You need to drill that out, which is why you need your drill bit to go bung it through there. Okay, but also you need to uh, set the servo in its uh, normal position. So let me just sort this out with a with a car, and I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay, so got the SCX10. Bit of power, switch the SX10 on. Okay, and that noise there is what you need to stop. Okay, so it's running really slow at the moment. What you need to do is get a pair of pliers and stop it completely. So I'm just going to turn that little turn this little thing here until it stops completely. When it stops, that means that it's set as zero. And it was spinning like that because it's got no gears attached to it. Alright, so this is now where the super glue comes in. Let me just adjust you again because you can't see nothing, can you? Okay, so I was adjusting that, that little bit there, that one there. Okay, if you take it out of line. 
you can hear it starts to spin inside that's just the motor running you put it to zero like that where you can't hear any sound coming out of the servo and then get your preferred uh, your preferred glue and I'm just going to put a few little drops on there and and on there only a few little drops because if the super glue goes into the servo it will mess it up and you've got to start again okay so I'm going to give that five minutes to dry and then I will come back to you okay I forgot this while you when you've put the the servo over there to dry we've then got to drill out the middle of the the servo horn no it's not the servo horn the bit that you screw the horn onto you need to drill out the inside of this now you can see there that little slot well that's what hooks onto the bit where we just glued so you don't want that slot in there anymore so what I'm going to do I'm taking the drill bit okay I don't know what size it is but it fits quite easily in there it's not too small but it's going to take most of that um, little slot out right do not do what I'm about to do because I don't have a vice here so I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'm going to get my hand and I'm going to make sure the screwdriver is spinning the right way I'm going to get a pair of pliers and hold it so I can give it some welly If you're not English, that means I'm going to give it some. What's that? I think this is a metal drill on plastic. Okay, until you're left with something resembling that. Basically, what I've just done, I've drilled down about that far into it uh, and I think it'll clear let's see why not um, and then it cuts because I cable tied me here we pliers together to hold the, uh, to hold the, the gear okay You also, just remembered, need to trim off that little plastic piece. Okay. Now, then, on metal gears, there's a little uh, little post that goes through it. And now, I believe you can heat it up and everything else like that. But um, you do that at your own risk because. I think that's the only way of getting out unless you've got a vice that you can drift the little um the little pin out with. You'll see what I mean when you get in there. It's a little pin that needs to come out. So it's basically so this can turn like a uh, 360 degrees and not get hung up by um uh not, not get hung up by the pin catching the uh basically doing what it's supposed to do when it spins around it's supposed to stop it uh, like every half a turn hopefully that's clear just about clear to me okay so next thing I need a knife hold on also what you could use is some nail clippers that I've uh, used before for this sort of stuff so what I'm going to do you can't see it because of the Thing. I'm just going to line it up there and do that okay and that just cuts it that bit off there and then I'm going to do that again it goes flying 
That's not, that's not too bad actually. Uh, that's not too bad actually. There we go. Let's snip that off there. Right, Nanny. There. Now I think it's time to put the servo back together. Glued that, done that. Yep, that turns without moving anything in there. Put that back on there. Turn that around the right way. We've got to make sure that everything goes back together and gets all the gears it's supposed to. Right. Okay, so there you go, that's back together. Now then, the big test. Get your car back. Um plug that into channel number two. Plug your car in. Transmitter on. Car on. It's only working. Zoom you in so you can see. There you go, can you see that? Well hey, that's not bad is it? And that's the first time I've done that and all I've done is watch videos on YouTube. I'm quite happy about that. Turn everything off. So now then, you're probably saying, if you haven't watched other videos, oh, I had to do this. Oh, what do I do now? Well, basically, <coughs> you wait a minute because I'm just going to go and get okay. something I need. So next thing you have to do, you have to adapt your servo uh, horn to fit your bobbin. Now, what I'm going to do, I was just going to throw a couple of screws into it, so when it sits on top of the uh, servo, it will just spin together like that, backwards and forwards, and that gives you your winching action. If you get to the point there, when you uh, put a screw through your bobbin, okay? using the holes conveniently provided by the maker Get your screwdriver in there Get your servo saver Put the screws onto there Hopefully you will have the right servo saver because this won't fit because the servo saver is too big, but it's just a demo. Okay, and then the next over this side, put another screw in to hold. So you've got two uh, two points of securing it down. You then put your servo server on your servo, which don't fit because it's the wrong one. And then use the hole there in the middle of the bobbin to put your screw down to uh, tighten your servo saver onto the servo the way you normally do if it was used for steering or something like that and then you've just got to attach your winch cable or whatever it is onto your bobbin and you've got a, a winch that goes in and out obviously that's what winches do and with the height of this you can fit quite a bit of cable on there so you then can have a nice long servo winch. to like wind it all in and uh, yeah, there you go. We can have a nice long reach on that then. 
because that's going to hold quite a bit of cable that is what I was thinking of doing on my SCX10 here I was just going to put the servo something like that on the back I'm going to hide it with like a bed type thing and uh, put a winch fair lead or whatever you want just on here you've got a winch at the front winch at the back maybe got a winch holder on the front of the uh, uh, on the front of the SCX10 at the moment don't know if it's staying or not but it looks okay it pops in there like that you know just uh, experiment see what you can come up with for your particular truck because let's face it none of, it, none of it's standard is it it's all stuff that we've uh, converted and things like that Okay, so I'm not going to waffle anymore. Uh, thanks for viewing, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, in your comments and your likes and everything else. Um, try and get out of a running video next week, hopefully. I'll try and do it this weekend, because today's Friday at the time of filming. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you next time. Bye.